welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hey girlies today's video is going to be a haul yes surprise a haul she spent money i do not spend my money i make my money it goes towards my bills goes into my savings account and i do not touch it and some people might be like oh that's a good thing it's a good quality but no like it's kind of like bad i am so frugal with my money for i don't know what reason like i feel like it's just gonna disappear one day but like i have such a weird concept with money and i, I maybe it's because growing up i didn't have much access to it so now that like you know i'm starting to get a couple of coins here and there now i just want to hold on to it and not use it but that is not healthy so you know what your girl went ahead and went shopping i cheated myself my friend colin mr colin barry here on youtube he told me girl it's okay treat yourself buy something like go to sephora it's okay i don't know why i'm like this I don't know. I got some stuff that I saw on TikTok that I've been wanting to try out. But before we go ahead and get started with today's video, I wanna give a big shout out to The Drop app for sponsoring us today. If you guys have never heard of The Drop app, which I'm sure you have because I have been mentioning them for quite a while now here on my channel, it is a free rewards app where you're basically shopping out of over 400 brands in store and online that you would have already shopped with, but this time you're earning points through The Drop app just for literally shopping through them and then getting free gift cards. The really cool thing about the app is you don't even have to spend money to start earning. You could also take really quick and easy surveys and also play games in the drop arcade. It is literally so easy. It is automatic earning. There's no coupon cutting. There is no scanning. None of that. Literally just shop through the app and the points will be automatically put into your account. For the most popular section, we have Amazon, Wendy's, Panera, Albertsons, Safeway. You can literally order your groceries through here and earn points just for buying groceries, which is something you would have already done. You guys are gonna see in this video that I shopped at Sephora and you already know I got my points for that. Like y'all, this is not one of those apps that you just have in your phone. Like if you actually use this and take advantage of the offers that they have on here, you're gonna be getting so many gift cards and saving so much money because literally you're getting money back and I know a lot of you guys just like me have shoppers guilt after we spend money so it actually helps it by taking that away by you know giving you your points back so you're getting a little something back every single time you spend some money nothing in the fridge and you're gonna order uber eats they have uber eats on here and you're gonna earn 280 points per dollar that you spend and that's gonna add up so quickly and then you're gonna be able to go to the rewards and start redeeming gift cards Drop now has an iOS 14 widget, so you can actually add it to your phone with all of your favorite offers so they can make it super quick and easy to add to your routine. It's as easy as tap, shop, earn, redeem. Like you're using this app on everyday things that you would have already been purchasing. So why not take advantage of getting some free stuff as well? Getting started on the app is super easy. All you have to do is download it on either the Google Play or the App Store, create an account and link a debit or a credit card that you're gonna be using to take advantage of all of Drop's exclusive cards hard linked offers. Like I told you guys, they have over 400 top brands on this app, but one of the really cool offers they have right now is through Amazon. Just by spending $25, you are going to get 5,000 points. And all you have to do is simply activate the offer for Amazon through the Drop app and start shopping. Double dip on savings and feel confident that you are getting the best deals through Drop. So make sure you take advantage of clicking that link in the description so you guys can sign up and you will get a free $10 credit once you redeem a thousand points through the Drop app. I'm telling you guys, take advantage of this app. You are literally getting gift cards and getting rewarded for doing things that you would have already done. Link is gonna be in the description. Thanks so much, Drop, for sponsoring us today. I didn't only get myself items. I also got stuff from my baby girl because you already know if I see something cute, she needs it in a mini version. I also have this like idea of wanting to like get her a bunch of sneakers that match my sneakers so me and her can like twin and all that. So I'm gonna show you guys these little baby sneakers I got. But let me show you guys the stuff I got for myself first. So the first thing I got was this Nike t-shirt. I don't know why I'm buying black clothing. It is very, very hot here. It's only like 81 degrees here in Nevada. Well, here in like Las Vegas area. And tell me why it feels like 130. I don't know why I'm buying black clothing. I also bought a long sleeve. Next, I got this pink t-shirt. Just says Nike Worldwide. I just thought these were cute. Um, I went to the forum shops at Caesars Palace to go and pick up all this stuff, by the way. So if you guys are interested in anything that like, I'm showing in this video today, it's still in the store. I what's today? Ooh, what's today? Is today Monday? It's Wednesday. So it's all still in stores. That's sad. I don't know what day it is most of the time. I just wake up 
and exist. So this is the little t-shirt. It has like lime green and then some like black and gray stripes. And then it also, <laughs> look how little these are. <laughs> Here's that long sleeve that I told y'all I bought. Like why? Like, it's cute. Like, you gotta admit, this is cute. Like, this is really cute. I'm not gonna be able to wear it for the next six months. Look how sick. Like, am I gonna start crying? Like, why do I wanna start crying? Look at Okay, I need to relax. Like, my neighbors probably can hear me outside just like making all these like screeching noises. Look at the little Air Force one. These are in a size 2C. I'm not sure what that means. But like, look how cute these little tennis shoes are. These are so cute. I got her some of these because y'all know I love my Air Force Ones. So I want to match with her. And then I also got her her first pair of Jordan Ones. <laughs> like, look at those little Okay, these are in a size 4C, so it's gonna take even longer for her, you know, fit into these. But I had to get them ahead of time just because, you know, maybe they won't have them. I, I cannot, like, this is probably, like, one of my favorite things that, like, I have purchased in the past, like, 10 years. Now tell me why I thought, like, oh, like, these are gonna be, like, $20. Girl, $55. $50. Like, and she's gonna wear these for a month. Okay, moving on to Forever 21 and Chic. I have not been in either of these stores since I was maybe, like, 20 years old. I forgot that they existed. So I decided to go in there, see what they had, see if they had some sales, and I got a lot of stuff for a really good deal. So first, I got these sweatpants. These are so big uncomfortable these are from forever 21 and then i just paired it with a forever 21 bodysuit hi belly hi big mama but then they have this little flower on the side i just thought they're so cute they're absolutely the most comfortable sweats i have ever purchased and they were only 20 dollars. every bodysuit that i'm going to show you guys is like 12 bucks and every pair of sweatpants is between 20 and 24 dollars. so i actually also got some more baby shoes <laughs> These ones are in a size 9C, so she really will not be able to wear these for a long time. Oh, look how cute they are! <laughs> like, is this a baby shoe haul? She's gonna be swagged out. Like, this little girl's gonna have some style, because Lord knows I didn't have it growing up. <laughs> and then I also got myself two pairs of slides. I keep seeing this girl on my timeline with her goddamn fluffy slippers, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I need a pair. Oh, I didn't want to get like the super, super big puffball ones. So I settled for something a little bit more chill. But, you know, just like some neutral colors. Just buy one, get one for only $10. Which like, I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on chic. As you see like the fluff just like flying around. Like the shoes are literally breaking us. I like take them out of the box. Like they were $10. So I really cannot complain. They're the bamboo brand. So, you know, you guys can find these and freaking Marshall. <laughs> and then I also got some called Liliana. <laughs> and these are just like some regular ones. Like I'm starting to get to the point of like, I can't bend over and tie my own shoes. So Anthony has to help me. So ooh, I am not the type of bitch to feel helpless. <laughs> I don't like that. You know what, I'm gonna get some slides so I can put my own shoes on. I don't know why I'm like this. Like I'm, I think I'm too independent for a relationship. Anthony, I'm breaking up, I'm just kidding. His family watches my videos, like I'm just kidding. I love him. And then these chanclas were only like $20. So I mean, 30 bucks for two pairs, 15 for each. Like that's basically what you would pay if you went to like a flea market or something to like pick these up. Cause like I said, once again, you know that's where they get these from. Okay, going back to Forever 21. I have literally all my Forever 21 stuff in here because the people at Forever 21 told me, oh, we only have a bunch of little tiny bags. And I was not about to walk around with like 40 of these. So right now they have a bunch of sweats, like I said, for around $20 or less. And they're all tie-dye. So here's just some pink ones. It doesn't have the little flower or whatever, but still cute. And the next pair I got are some blue ones. <laughs> That's why I also got all these bodysuits because like I just want to put a bodysuit on and some sweats and call it a day. I am starting to get very, very lazy. Next, this is a pair of leggings. I want to, you know, start being more active. I'm going on hikes and by going on hikes, I've gone on like two. She wants to be more active. So I went ahead and got, ooh. 
I just ripped them. Okay, um, <laughs> I had purple leggings. These are some little high-rise biker shorts. Cute, cute. These were only $12. They had so many different colors of these. I really do not know why I didn't grab more. While I was like walking around, I was like, oh, I want that color and that color and that color. But then like the cheapness in my head was like, don't do it. You're going to regret it. You need to save those extra $40. Like it's, you're gonna need it one day. Like girl, like I'm not about to go spend that, like I said, on Taco Bell or McDonald's on DoorDash. I don't understand my whole like concept with money in my head. It doesn't make sense. When it comes to like buying physical items that will last you forever, literally, no, no. When it comes to, you know, buying food and buying things that like literally are gonna go through your body in like three hours, give me. But this I know I got like a two piece set and I'm pretty sure I got the top that also matches it. That's this right here. Looks like this. So when me and Anthony go on a hike, I wanna bring my camera with me so I can take a really cute picture. Like a little belly shot. These are not gonna be my maternity photos. Imagine I just like go and take some like random like iPhone 5 pictures. <laughs> like in this, I'm like, these are the maternity pics, y'all. No, like I'm gonna plan that all out. Like I still need to plan that out. My baby shower is in less than a month and um, I don't have anything put together still. I'm very last minute. So cross your fingers, that works out. That'll be a vlog. And I got another bodysuit. This one's like, like a tank top type style. I wanted to get a bunch of black ones because y'all know I'd be sweating. Like I was on live yesterday and like within five minutes of being on live, I was dredged, coated. Not cute, not a good look. I have a pit problem. <laughs> I think my armpits have PTSD. So like every time the camera comes out, they think we're gonna get attacked or like someone's gonna try to cancel me. And then I got another black bodysuit. Like my... <laughs> a big baby onesie <laughs> like my baby's gonna be wearing all these like little like onesies and i'm gonna be wearing them too if any ladies out there have tr <laughs> somebody told me in the comments actually like two or three people commented this on my last video and they're like hey vanessa like you talking about your weight was really triggering i'm sorry i'm not trying to like come across as like oh my god like i did like I'm not trying to trigger anybody with their weight. I have body dysmorphia and the way I talk about it, like I'm just very open about that stuff. I'm literally just expressing myself. So I'm sorry if I triggered anybody when I talk about that kind of stuff. But like my body's going through so many changes and being somebody who was like very like, I need to be 130 pounds, I need to be 130 pounds, like for who knows what reason. Obviously like there's so many pressures with social media, but now being almost 170 pounds, I am like, so yeah, bodysuit. This one has sleeves and now I'm glad this one has sleeves. <laughs> and then these are some black leggings because for some reason I keep putting holes in the knee of my leggings. I don't know where the holes are coming from. Y'all, I'm not out here crawling around on my knees. That is not my job. That is Anthony's job. Did I? We're gonna pretend I shaved. And then this is the last bodysuit and item I got from Forever 21. It's just, you know, like a regular lilac color, but it's backless. So I thought that was really, really cute. I wanted to get some short sleeve stuff because all I do is wear hoodies because like I said, she has body dysmorphia. So I went to H&M. So at the Forum Mall, I saw this dress in the window and I was like, okay, that's so cute. But you know what? Like, let me stop. Like, I'm not going into H&M. And then we went to a different mall. We went to the Galleria. My eye is twitching. Why does it do that? Ever since like I got pregnant, like my eye will like start twitching out of nowhere, my eyebrow, or I'll sneeze and my eye will like twitch. Is that a, is like is that okay? Is that safe? But this is the dress. I just thought it looked so cute on the mannequin. Once again, this is something that I want to like drive to Utah, go where like there's some really nice rocks and take like a barefoot photo, like hair flowing down. By hair flowing down, I mean someone else's hair clip-ins, cause like I'm bald. So I just thought that'd be like a cute picture. So it looks like this. It's just a black dress and it has like some. What is this called? Ruching, scrooching right here? So you can make it a little bit tighter on one side, which that's what the mannequin had. It's not too long of a dress, but as you can see, like it's cut like that. So it's gonna be a little bit more like high up on one side. And I just thought this would be such a really cute, like just baby photo, like something to have on the wall. It says it's made of organic linen. Okay, saving the planet, I must simply save you. <laughs> So everybody on TikTok is making Kate Spade a thing again. They're making it seem like, oh my God, they have so many cute bags. And I said, you know what? Let me walk in there and see what they have. I've not shopped at Kate Spade since I was maybe, sheesh, 
17, 18, around then. It's probably 17 years old. I completely forgot what kind of bags they had in there and they have so much pink stuff. Out of nowhere, I love the color pink. So, I mean, it's probably because I'm having a girl. But I thought, you know what, like, I don't have any sort of pink bags. I have a lot of, like, red, black, white, and gray. Like, I don't have many, like, color variations. So I thought, you know what, let me go see what they have. Because everybody on TikTok keeps showing that, you know, Kate Spade has these really cute, colorful bags. And they do. They had so many cool colors. So I went ahead and I got this crossbody. Let me open it up. She didn't have to wrap it up like this, though. It just looks like this. Opens up there opens up here too so there's a lot of pockets and stuff comes with a little dust bag and then it of course comes with the strap which is also pink and you could like switch out the straps and stuff so i think i'm gonna buy a chain one just to you know like have some like variation but i thought it was really cute and i love how i keep buying all these like small bags when i really need like well i got a diaper bag already but like i still need to have like my cute little purse on the side of the diaper bag you know Ooh, did I just break it? And I love that their prices are not too high. Like, you're getting a good quality item. Because I remember, like, I bought a lot of, like, little Kate Spade things in the past. And I ended up giving most of them away to my friends. And they still use them and they still look really good. This bag, I believe, was, like, $200. So it's nothing way too expensive for, you know, the quality that you're getting. Which is kind of, like, crazy how, like... I've bought other like leather bags like from like Givenchy or like other brands and it feels exactly the same except that bag was like a thousand or two thousand dollars and see that's why I don't do that no more. And then next I went ahead and just got this a little like iPhone holder so let's even see if my phone fits in here because I didn't even try it I just grabbed it and I was like oh that's cute I want that. Yeah it's just a little like it's literally just a crossbody so like for those days when like I'm trying to get out the door really fast Oh, you just put your phone in there and then you can put like your IDs, your cards and stuff. So I thought this was really cute. I don't have any sort of little, like iPhone holder. Am I a mom? I'm really a mom, aren't I? Like, this is such a little mom thing. I'm getting old, ill. <laughs> people keep telling me like 24 is not old girl. And some people are surprised when I say I'm 24 years old. Like, how old do I look? Do I look 18? Don't say 32, because if someone comments 32, you're getting blocked from my channel. <laughs> Next, I went to Sephora. I really wanted to try Selena Gomez's new makeup, so I think I got like one or two things from there. Then I also got some Fenty stuff. So the first thing that I got is a glow recipe item. If you guys don't know, I think I've mentioned this brand in like three videos now. Um, I bought all of it myself, so like this is not like a sponsored thing by like Glow Recipe Secretly. I love everything about this brand. Like it just makes my skin feel so nice. I have never had my makeup go on as smooth as it does. Like it has never lasted so long throughout the day. This is it. The toner, the dew drops, and the moisturizer, and I use their blueberry cleanser. So now I wanted to pick up their Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist so I could keep this in my bag and take it with me everywhere I go. So you can set your makeup with this and you can also refresh your makeup with it. I already tried it when we were in the car because it was hot. But like, look how cute this little bottle is. And then you just go ahead and... <sighs> it just smells so good. So I had to go ahead and pick up this mist because like I said, my skin be getting dry out here and I just want my makeup to last a little longer. Next, I got a jade roller. I already have a pink one, so it's like, what, a rose quartz roller? But I wanted to get another one, so... This is just a green jade roller. I saw somewhere that said like, oh, like they don't actually do anything. They don't work. But I noticed whenever I use the roller, my face doesn't look as puffy. And I don't know, like I feel like my... Why do I... Honestly, sometimes I think I'm like hearing things. Did someone just ring my doorbell? Who's ringing my doorbell right now? It's like eight o'clock at night. Watch it be Anthony locked outside and I'm just like, no. No, but yeah, I heard that like these don't work apparently but like I like to put my product on my face and then use this to really work it in So you're not absorbing as much into your fingertip Then I went ahead and got a another beauty blender because when I was on live the last time on Instagram Pickle was sitting there literally chewing it behind me trying to flex on people being bad Also, by the way something that made me really freaking sad I had over 4,000 points at Sephora and because I didn't shop there for a year. They all went away so yeah, no one cares. I just felt like complaining. <laughs> Next, I got Patrick Star's makeup line. This is one size, and this is the Eye Popper Sparkle Vision Shadow in the color Pea House. You guys. 
I swatched this on Anthony's arm in the store and I was like, okay, like I need to buy that. So it looks like this. It's a glitter eyeshadow. I'm not gonna use it the way that I'm sure all the MUAs do, but like, <laughs> just look at this. Just look at this. Like, oh. Like, can you, can you even see it? Can, can you even see that? Like, I don't even know if you can see that. Just know that it's beautiful. This is the Stay Vulnerable Melting Blush in Nearly Rose by Rare Beauty. So this is Selena Gomez's makeup line. There are so many celebrities with freaking makeup lines these days. Goodness gracious. Oh, this is cute. So this is a little, ah, it's so pretty. I already swatched it in the store, but like, look at that. That's such a cute blush. Next, I got a eyeliner. So this is from Kat Von D. This is the tattoo liner. I heard that Kat Von D like sold her company or like completely walked away from it. So now it's like a whole nother like person that like runs it. But I know she got canceled and nobody was wearing her makeup anymore. And now all of a sudden like everything is vegan and another company owns it. Then I went ahead and got a couple of Fenty products. So the first thing I got is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Um, I've never tried her powder foundation before, so this is something that I've been wanting to check out for a while. So just looks like that, just a powder foundation. I got this in the color 310. I didn't swatch this in the store. I just kind of assumed that this would match my face. So hopefully it does. So this is the Fenty Beauty Invisimat. So I've seen several people, like several friends use this and seen them pull this out of their bag and it has done miracles. So if you live somewhere where it's hot or you have oily skin, I don't really have too much oily skin to be honest, but just to like touch up my makeup throughout the day, I wanted to pick it up. It's literally just like a white type of powder thing. But I've seen different kinds of skin tones use this, so I'm not too concerned as far as like, oh, is it gonna like make me look pale or anything? And I didn't know it didn't come with the brush. Tell me why I grabbed the brush thinking it was a two for one. It wasn't a two for one. This was $30. Like, thanks Rihanna. But you know what? It's okay. She's paying me through Savage and then I'm giving her my money back. Okay, I think the last couple items I got are actually from Lush. Is that all that I got? Dang, why do I feel like I spent like thousands and thousands? <laughs> I also got some other stuff that I'm not gonna show you guys cause like, I feel like nobody cares. There's this store called Brad's Toys. <laughs> okay, and it's not that kind of toy. It's actually like figurines, action stuff, like Funko Pops, um, like Harry Potter thing, just like random stuff. So I went ahead and I purchased 27 <laughs> Funko Pops. So the room right next to this one, we're turning it into like a little gaming room because me and Anthony both really like Xbox and PlayStation and stuff. So for one of the walls, what just flew off my hand? Girl, was that a spider? No, but like me and Anthony are gonna be, you know, decorating one of the walls. And I wanna put shelves and just line all of them up. So I just got a bunch of like really cute ones. I got like Harry Potter, I got um, Gandalf, I got, um, what did I get? I got some Star Wars characters, some Pokemon ones, like just like a couple of things. And I just figured like nobody would care <laughs> to like see those. So they're downstairs. But moving on to Lush, I got a couple of items. You guys know I love my Lush. This is the one thing that like I don't feel guilty about spending money on. Cause like this genuinely makes me feel so good. Like I love Lush products. They make me feel so like glamorous, so clean, just so like, I just enjoy bath time with this stuff. So this is the Cherry Lip Scrub. I used to use the bubble gum, bubble gun, bubble gun. Okay, violence. I used to use the bubble gum lip scrub all the time. And when I moved, I lost it. And by lost it, I think I just like left everything in my medicine cabinet. So to the person that bought my house, they got my hair straightener, like my nice babyless pro one, my wave wand, they got all of my contacts, several pairs of glasses. They got my bubblegum lip scrub. Next, I went ahead and got a conditioner and this is the Glory conditioner. It said that this is good for curly and textured hair. So usually when it says that, that means it has a lot of like really hydrating rich products in it. And the girl in the store low-key sold it. 
So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna try it out tonight. I'll let you guys know in like a vlog or something if I liked it or not. This is the Rose Jam shower gel and the Honey I Wash the Kids shower gel. Anthony bought me a bunch of these like, he bought me a bunch of like sets of like Lush things for Christmas. So I have a collection of like little soaps and stuff. So I wanted to get some more and these both smell really, really good. And then I also got some body bars. So I didn't label them, so I don't even know what these are called, but I got this blue one. Yes, yes. It smells like peppermint and eucalyptus. This one smells like lemon and I, oh, uh, so, so, ooh, I got dizzy, girl. Ooh, okay, this one looks a little moldy, but this one was called like figs and trees or something figs. It was something weird but it smells amazing. I don't know what any of these are called and I'm sure somebody watching this is like, it's that, it's that. Like, I I don't know though. <laughs> I also bought a set of candy sushi, but I don't think anyone cares about that either. So that's also downstairs. Everything that I got from the Brad's Toys Place, I just left it down there because I figured no one gave two Fs. So if, like I said, if you want to pick up any of these things, they should still be in the stores just because I just, re I just got it today. So it should all still be there if you live here in Vegas or, I love how I tell you guys I live in Vegas. I don't live in Vegas. <laughs> I live outside of Vegas. But you know what, for security reasons, cause we have some weird bitches that watch my videos that are obsessed with my man. Um, <laughs> like girl, he ain't all that special. Why are you still chasing him? I'm just kidding. Why did it just like sound like something was under my bed? Girl. You know what, I'm gonna keep filming. I'm gonna film another video. So if there's someone under my bed right now, can you wait till I'm like done filming and editing and posting and then you can like stab me? Once again, I wanna give a big shout out to Drop for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in checking out Drop, go ahead and click that link in the description below and download it today. That's all from me and I will see you guys all in a couple days on my channel. Thanks for coming and spending the past couple of minutes with me. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, amazing night wherever you are. Peace, love, and light to you and your family and your boo. And I will see you later.